Hello everyone, it is me Sasha Kawaii Cat, and in today's video, I'll be designing demon adventures. So for this video, I'll be designing a bunch of demons, but really I've just been thinking about tiefling characters from D&D. For the first character, I decided to draw a demon woman who is a fancy wizard. For this character, I imagine she's probably from a wealthy family. She went to the best school to develop her skills as a magic user, and now she's an adventurer. I imagine this character is pretty cocky because she's actually very adept at magic. She's also probably very snarky and mean to anyone who isn't her friend. I do think that when it comes to her friends, she's a whole other person. She loves and cares about them very much, but probably doesn't show it as much. I gave her a really nice outfit that I think looks very cute. I feel like this character is probably very good at casting spells and doing magic, but isn't the best at fighting, like actual hand-to-hand -hand combat. She's probably very graceful and fancy when it comes to casting her magic specifically, but if she is ever in a physical fight or if she ever has to physically fight anyone, she's probably more messy and unstructured because she wouldn't have any idea of what she was doing, even that physical fighting really isn't her thing. For the drawing process, I had a lot of fun coming up with the outfit for this character. I looked up a few references for her belts and I think they turned out okay. I used the symmetry tool to design a lot of her outfit, which really helped a lot. I also had a hard time drawing horns, so the symmetry tool really helped me to get those right as well. I've been having a hard time sketching lately as well for some reason. It feels a bit easy to draw when I use a red pencil type brush. So I sketched this with a brush that I think is called Mechanical Pencil and then I did the line art with the brush that I always use for line art which is Dip Pen Hard. For the coloring process, I remember that I initially gave this character a blue color scheme but she started to remind me of Nightcrawler so I switched to purple. I really like purple and I think purple is a very pretty and fancy looking color. I think it complements the gold very well as well and overall I think she looks very beautiful. I think I'm very happy with how this character turned out. I don't know if I'd change anything with her overall design, but please comment below and let me know what you think. For our second character, I really just wanted to design a sort of everyman type character. Well, as much as an everyman <laughs> as, I don't know, a demon, <laughs> tiefling type guy can be. But, you know, I think this guy thinks he's the main character, but it's probably the wizard girl, if I'm being honest. I think for this guy, I just wanted a little edgy boy. He's a sort of mysterious type, I think, and a bit of a rascal, maybe. <laughs> He probably came from a very simple middle-class family with two loving parents. I imagine he has maybe two or three siblings with him being the oldest. Meanwhile, a purple magic girl is probably an only child. I feel like he's the best big brother ever though. I can see a scenario where both his parents die and he becomes the caretaker for his family. I imagine that he take up adventuring to earn money so he can take care of his younger siblings. The more I think about the character, the more I feel like maybe he could actually be the main character. I don't know. I gave him this really nice sword, so I guess he's a fighter. <laughs> he looks kind of fancy as well, though not as fancy as our purple girl. I feel like I decided to give him the blue and gold color scheme because I wanted to use it and I really like the color combination. And it looks pretty good on him, even though I initially wanted to use it for our purple tieflin. I remember playing around with the color of his hair before settling on the hair that looks a bit more like flames. I remember not knowing what to do with this guy's hands though. I'm not very good at drawing hands though, I usually try my best. Also initially I think I wanted this guy to look a lot prettier than he looks now, but then I ended up giving him shorter hair and a more relaxed sort of plain yet somehow still handsome face. Overall, I think he turned out okay. Please comment below and let me know what you think of this design.
Our third character ended up being the pretty boy design. For this guy, I was thinking he would be a very beautiful kind of soft boy. <laughs> Just the gentlest of souls, but he's actually from like a mobster or gangster type family. <laughs> His parents are both criminals, his older brothers are all the worst of the worst and he's just this little cutie, their cute little baby brother who's living a sweet, delicate life away from the family business. Since he's the youngest, he doesn't really have much to worry about as it relates to the family business. He has two older brothers who are going to take over and as long as his parents don't try to drag him back home, he can run around being an adventurer. I feel like because of his family, everyone probably assumes he has a dark side, but unless he gets corrupted somehow or is mind control, he's 100% the sweetest boy. He grew up around a lot of violence and crime, and so he just wants to help people. For his design, initially I was gonna give him red skin to contrast with his outfit, which has a lot of pastel colors, lots of soft pastel colors to be specific, but I decided since our second character had red skin, I would give him a more pastel color for his skin tone as well to match his outfit. I was kind of thinking about a few Disney princesses when I designed him, specifically Sleeping Beauty, so I gave him blonde hair and I added a flower. I imagine this character is actually very tall and a bit muscular, but is overall gentle and doesn't like fighting but will if he has to. He's probably a really good fighter since I imagine his parents spent a lot of time teaching him how to defend himself and also how to intimidate others. Overall, I really like this guy. I wanted to draw a pretty demon guy and I did that, so mission accomplished. Again, please comment below and let me know what you think of this design, how do you think he turned out, and which character is your favorite so far? For final design, I decided to make a character that was meant to be sort of spooky but just ended up being a beautiful girl. So because of that, I imagined that she's like a musician of some sort who starts adventuring on the side because she thinks it's just really fun. I feel like she has a lot of different abilities as well. I give her a sword so she's obviously a fighter, she obviously knows how to fight but I like to think she's also a magic user. Actually, maybe she's like a cleric or a bard, I don't know. I do like the aesthetic I ended up giving her. She seems very stylish and very pretty. Like her hair is always done, her makeup is always on point. She's a fashionable girl. <laughs> At least I hope she looks fashionable. <laughs> I ended up giving her a very simple color palette because initially I was thinking she'd be like a goth type character. So she's mostly wearing lots of black. I know absolutely nothing about goths and I didn't use any references, so I don't think she's actually goth, but I still like that she's wearing all black. I think it looks nice. Let's just say she wears a lot of black because it's her favorite color. I also gave her really big horns. To be honest, I don't think I really thought about the horns too much. I just sort of looked up some horns references and chose one for each of the characters. I did think the larger horns make her stand out more though, so I do think they're a good design choice. Overall, I like this design though, I do think it was the least thought out. Really what happened was I had an idea and I didn't really execute it properly, so I don't think I have much to say about this design, but I do like how it turned out actually. What do you guys think of this design? Please comment below and let me know. If you guys have a more intricate and cool backstory for her or an idea of who she might be, please comment below and let me know. Share your thoughts in this character. 
Like, what do you get from this character just by looking at her? Who do you think she is? <laughs> Please comment below and let me know. But those are all the characters. I kind of like how all of these turned out actually. I think they look really cute. <laughs> I kind of wish I had thought about the design a little bit more though. I could have thought out some of these design choices a bit more. But I still think the characters turned out okay. I might go back and try to redesign these characters maybe later on. Or maybe I'll just do some new designs and try to think about what I'm doing more. Maybe use some more references, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching this video! If you like my art and you'd like to show your support, you can always donate to my coffee account or become a patron. The link to those are always in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!